welcome back guys welcome to another session of shomu's biology presents biology math problems and we have been we have been dealing with many different varieties of problems and we have already done some hardy weinberg problems previously but this time we'll be doing another question of hardy weinberg problem so let's let's solve this one now uh, in this case the question is a uh, census of birds nesting on a galapagos island revealed that 25 of them 20 oh, sorry 24 of them shows a rare recessive uh, condition that affected the beak formation the other 63 birds uh, in the population so no beak defect if this population is in hardy weinberg equilibrium what is the frequency of the dominant allele so hardy weinberg equilibrium as we know is very important uh, thing to understand about the population genetics and to get the idea of what is the percentage of a population getting a particular allele to calculate the whole allele frequency it's very very good very very important formula though the formula is listed here uh, in in many questions you won't be given this formula it's already given here it's to get very good now uh, the strategy for solving any type of hardy weinberg equilibrium it has you know first thing you need to figure out is that what you are given that is whether you are given alleles allele can be you know small p or small q whether you are given allele or you are given genotypes that is the thing you need to figure out what 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 is you are given if you are given genotype it can be p square it can be 2 p q it can be q square any one of it any one of that right so any one of this can happen right so second thing once you know whether you are given allele or genotype once you know you are given given allele or genotype after that you need to figure out what you are solving for that is allele frequency or number in the population so this is the given thing that you that you want to know and second thing that you need to know is what are you solving for what are you solving for you can solve for two things you can solve for you know uh, allele frequency or you can solve for number in population that is that are the two things that you can go right once you got that you can manipulate the formulas to go from given to the solving form state once you do that it's very easy simple calculations and then you can get your answer right and this answer is usually uh, the decimal level answers because that's the frequency is going to tell us but remember this thing you can be given allele if you're given alleles you go for p and q only if you're given genotype it can be p square or q square because genotype consisting of two alleles one is dominant one is recessive so that's why for dominant it's homozygous nature so it's p square for the recessive it's homozygous recent q square and for the heterozygous it is 2 pq pq is the heterozygous state so once you know that let's begin with this one now it is telling us that uh, the uh, census birds are in the Galapagos Island and 24 of them show a rare big defect, right? Affected big formation. Other 63 birds have no problem whatsoever there. And they are also telling us that the population is in Hardy Weinberg equilibrium. That means we can apply the Hardy Weinberg formula there, right? So, what do we know here? That 24 of the total, so total number of, total number of uh, birds there in the island is 63 plus 24 it is going to give us 87 total number is 87 now among these 87 24 are having that defect right so that is a rare recessive condition that's what they're saying us rare recessive condition and that means this this situation this 24 people birds are having the disease which is recessive in nature right so what we can calculate from it we can calculate the recessive genotype from here so the recessive genotype we can simply write at q square because that's what we've just talked about equals to the value you know 24 out of 87 so once you put this it is going to give us the value of 0.2758 so we know that q square equals to 0.2758 so q equals to we can simply make a square root of this value and it is going to give us 0.5252 
I have already done all these things, so I know the values. So it's giving us 0 0.5252. 5 so once we get the value of q 0 0.5252, 5 that means we simply get q. So we can calculate p easily because we know according to Hardy-Weinberg we can write that p plus q equals to one. We can write p plus q whole square equals to one or p square plus two p q plus q square equals to one. That are the these are the three formulas. Uh, this is the manipulation of one particular formula only and we can use it according to our need. Now in this case we require this first formula. So let's put the values. So we know p plus q equals to 1. So now if we put the value of q here, so 1 minus 0 0.5252 and that's going to give us 0 0.47. So the value for p is 0 0.47 and you know p is the allele, right? And what was the question? The question was what is the frequency of the dominant allele? That's what they ask us. What is the frequency of the dominant allele? So they want us to calculate the value for allele, not the genotype. If they want genotype, then we put this formula to calculate. But we, they want allele frequency and the frequency is 0 0.47. Remember the frequency always are in the decimal fraction. Most of the time the frequencies are in decimal fraction, right? So that's it guys, very easy to calculate and the number of offspring, number of offspring in the population will not be in the decimal number. That will be in a particular number value, the integer value, right? So that's that's very important concepts that we need to keep in mind while solving this type of Hardy-Weinberg problem. Easy to solve but slight complications are there because you need to find out what is allele, what is genotype, what is allele frequency for, what is uh, number of uh, individuals in the population for and once you know that it's very easy to go and there it is all the best.